Happy, Happy holidays, holidays from Geekspeak.tv. Hi. <laughs> really, hey. a two-handed waiver. Yeah. Really. Yeah. to decorate a very geek holiday, which is very exciting. Some of the things on our menu tonight, a Tardis gingerbread. Awesome, and also we're going to be doing some Star Wars themed snowflakes, paper snowflakes for you cheap bastards out there that can't afford real decorations, <laughs> right? We're also doing Cylon Christmas tree ornaments. And we're doing Santa Claus Avengers Brownies. We're also having a special guest tonight who's going to show us how to do fun themed stockings. Awesome! So I can't wait. Uh, you're going to see us uh, hopefully do this right. If not, we'll F it up and it'll still be funny. And if and you can find the instructions and everything on how to do all that stuff on our website, uh, geekspeak.tv, uh, after the show or when after you watch this. Let's get started. Tardis. Tardis. So everybody knows what a Tardis looks like. If you're not, you're a Tard. <laughs> so we'll put a picture here of what TARDIS should look like when you're done. Bam! So this is gonna be really easy. I've never actually done this, so it's gonna be pretty. So run down what you need first of all to what get this need. built. Okay, this is what I got. I got two gingerbread house kits. You can get them from CVS. Do we have the or... box? Right there? Yeah, we do. They're actually right next to you. Awesome. Um, you can get them at CVS or William Sonoma if you have them. This is what it looks here. like. Um, so what it comes with are two of each of these pieces, but the reason you get two kits is because you're trying to make a rectangle for a while. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, wow. That's the same. No. There are four sheets that are the same size. Um, you can carve in windows before you bake them, which is kind of fancy. I this. So you're going to put these two together, and you have your trusty icing. Glue. Which acts as glue, right? Which acts as glue. Uh, <laughs> Never happened. Do this. I do, but I can. She's gonna love it. Do what I can. Ooh. You do more of that, though. Guess. <laughs> do you have one? Do you want to have one already built already or no? No. Okay. Just one. <laughs> <laughs> be like, bing! This is it. This is what I, that's what they do on TV. Like, and then we go, and this is when it's done. <laughs> because watching this shit gets boring. Shut up! My sparkling personality makes up for everything. Absolutely. Uh, uh. So you have the four walls. Now what you're going to do is, because every kit comes with two of these, if you get two kits, or if you make your own, you're going to need the tops of these. So cut them off. Keep now, it simple. Now, you can do it more if, you look, <laughs> if you look at TARDIS, if you look at a TARDIS, mm -hmm. oh, you gotta go like this. <laughs> um, as you can see, there there are a couple layers on top. So now that we have one on top, Ooh. now we have the roof. We have to wait, make one that's a little bit smaller. So here's your base. Mm -hmm. This is before you're going to put any sort of color on it. So, now, oh, you make blue icing. You just get white icing and then one of the kits where you have the different colors. And it's called food coloring. It's called food coloring. Boom. It's beautiful. And you just start going to town. Together in TARDIS looking. Amazing. Magic. Right? So and it, it was so easy. It was so easy and it was fun. Yeah. And, and, and it go. takes you like what? Maybe it took us like maybe 20 minutes to do this? Yeah. <laughs> At, so, least. At least. So you wouldn't last, even notice. Yeah, you last minute party, you know, <laughs> last minute party idea. You know, got friends coming over for the holidays, you want to geek them out. Make a TARDIS? Get together and make a TARDIS. That'd be great. Awesome, so what's we going to do next? We're actually we're going to show you how to make some snowflakes and... Some Star Wars themed snowflakes. And some ornaments, so we have our ornament section coming up soon, right? We do, and our We still have brownies. our marble brownies to come, so stay tuned. There'll be more. Hi, okay. geeks. So our next segment, we're going to be showing you how to make some cool Star Wars themed snowflake cutouts. Now, don't fret, you know, if you don't get it right perfectly the first time, you know, I've been doing this for a while, so I've had a lot of practice. But the cool thing is, we're gonna have all of these cool little templates for you to download on our website. Go to geekspeak.tv and click on a little link that has this available for download. You can do this yourself. You decorate your whole tree. So it's really easy. You guys have yours ready to go. You guys are doing Boba Fett and he's gonna do the Rebel. I'm gonna do this, my favorite Stormtrooper. 
the scout trooper, right? Because he's just badass. Okay, so go ahead and start cutting. And remember, take your time, go slow. Start off by cutting out the circle first, and that'll be the. I would actually recommend if you're cutting out the circle, just so you can make sure that it all is in the right place. Fold your piece of paper in half, and then cut out the circle. Oh, and then let's do it early. She's a smart. So, like I said, we do this for a while. So when you're done, it's gonna look something like this. Wow, right? that and was like, so fast. Well, you know, like I said, I've been doing this for a little while. So, so good. And you can tie a little string right here and just hang up along your house, a little stormtrooper themed snowflakes. But go ahead and keep going, you guys. And now it's important to note that on the template, you're going to be cutting out the black part. That's probably pretty self-explanatory, but I thought I would put that out there just in case. And you know what? And there's some also there's some fine lines in some of these designs. So if you really want to get the detail out of the snowflakes, get yourself an X-Acto knife. Okay, again, that'll be really sharp, and you'll be able to cut out the fine imitations that are needed to make, you know, the emblems and everything come out the way they should. The folding of these cool little cutouts, okay? So yes, you're going to cut out the black part, but one, you want to make sure you fold it in half, and you want to kind of get the lines a little exact, so you fold them like that, right? And then when you start to fold, make sure when you fold the triangles, you fold them alternating, alternating ones. Or else it's gonna... So you fold them once like that. And then backwards, like that, and then the opposite direction, and so on, and so on, and so on, until you have a little pizza slice kind of a shape. Just like that. All right, bam, and then you cut off all the black. And don't forget this outside part too, because that's really important, that gives it the whole- Boba hel Fett. Helmet shit. Boba, Boba Fett. Fett. Where? Boba Fett, where? Where Boba Fett? Where Boba Fett? Where? Uh -oh. Where's Boba uh -oh. Fett? Let's see. Let's see. Boba Fett! Uh oh, she's excited. Let's see. Somebody's excited. Gentle touch. Gentle Where? touch. Gentle touch. Yeah! I see Boba Fett. Okay, I didn't do the cheek thing because I don't have an exacto knife, but. But you know what? That's pretty dope. Boba Fett. Digging it. Look at that. We got Stormtrooper, Sweet Boy, and Boba Fett. Again, so print these out at home. It takes you a few minutes to do. And you trust me, your friends will be like, oh, that's awesome! And you know. Sit around, you know, decorate the trees. Take the trees with your Star Wars stuff. Cool, right? So stay tuned. We're gonna have some more cool uh, Christmas stuff for you, and hope you like it. So for our next segment, we are going Cheers, to. Cheers, Dr. Ripper. <laughs> <laughs> As you were. Go ahead. No one stopped you. Proceed. <laughs> or, um, I will be posting my brownie recipe. Ooh. So, here's what you're going to need. You're going to need brownie mix. And you're going to need a marble pan. This is real. Uh, you get this from William Sonoma. It's kind of one of my most favorite things in my life. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. So, I've already baked the brownies, obviously, and then we're going to decorate them for the holidays. We're going to give everybody Santa hats. So what colors do we need, Mom? Just in we, case people don't know. Well, the characters that we have are... What colors do we have? <laughs> the colors that we have are blue, yellow, red, white, and green. And we have the Incredible Hulk, the Mighty Thor, Captain America, Iron Man, Wolverine, and Spider-Man. So, brownies are pre-made. So again, you get all the recipes to all this madness online. Absolutely, and, and I will post some photos up of these pictures. So remember, it tastes better than it looks. <laughs> yeah, and it probably tastes a lot better than it looks. Than it looks. Um, I'm sorry, <laughs> this is pretty good. That's this pretty. So pretty far, good. that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Because it's one color. Um, what happened to Batman? Oh. 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 I'm 
sorry, this is Marvel, not DC. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that. She's going there. DC stands for District of Columbia. <laughs> <laughs> Is there, is there a joke or a punchline in there, or are we supposed to guess what DC stands for? Just focusing on my Wolverine, okay? Wolverine. He's amazing, but he has to be a Santa Wolverine. Oh. Well, she focuses on that. We're going to move on to our next project, which is creating Christmas ornaments. No! Cylon style. No! Hulk because smash. we shouldn't do... We'll come back to this. <laughs> Trust me. I said everybody down Spider-Man. She'll be, because, yeah, she'll be done. Our last segment for our Hall of Christmas Geek Speak TV special are the Cylon ornaments. So, Matt, what do we need to do this? Make this happen. You just need to go and get your box standard glass ornaments. You can either make them shiny like this, or you can just get the plain colored ones. And you need a Sharpie. And we're going to show you just how to draw. It's really simple. You just draw a Cylon face on your ornaments. Et voila. There's a Sharpie. There's an ornament. Let's see her do this. And so, what you should do is download a picture of a Cylon, so you know what a Cylon looks like. Well, and in case you don't, we'll put a link to that picture of the Cylon that she's using to create this Christmas miracle. masterpiece. It's a miracle. miracle. It's not a masterpiece, it's, it's a, a miracle. It's a Christmas miracle, folks. <laughs> so we're making Darth Vader ornaments. <laughs> <laughs> We'll name it then. <laughs> what do you have we in made, Cylon? We made Philadelphia Bell. <laughs> we made Liberty weird. Bell uh, ornaments. Is that the Eye of Sauron? <laughs> it's like it's like ornament pictionary. Get your friends together and you gotta try. Pictures. <laughs> That's That's actually really good. So when you're trying to draw something, it might come out something else. That's yeah. Nice. But hey, it's all about like you tried. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Queen of that feeling yourself lately. <laughs> These ornaments are awesome. Here, let's go get a close up of this. I have some incredible stocking ideas for you guys. Uh, yeah, this is my little night crawler stocking. Because <laughs> it's my boyfriend's favorite, and I couldn't figure out how to give him his present, so I was like, hey, stocking. And I just figured night crawler because I haven't seen one. <laughs> so, yeah. Made out of fleece and some felt, so and sewn mostly glued. It's kind of it was fun. These don't take very long, you know, or two. Wow! Now you have one you're working on right now. Right. Is that right? Yes. It's a little zombie one with some pieces. But the idea is to have a brain top and little dead eyes. And I haven't decided what to do with the mouth. I kind of cut pieces and then I just lay them out to like decide what I want. And you just glue them down? Uh, these I would probably glue, you can use fabric glue or hot glue. Just don't wash it because you're going to be using felt. And this is marker. I just kind of use whatever I have laying around. So. <laughs> yes. Well thank you so much, Sandra. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> and I'm going to hold this up so you can see it properly. That's beautiful. <laughs> So thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Hey geeks, I hope you enjoyed our Geektastic holiday special. We have like plenty of templates for everything that we did here. I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing this as much as we enjoyed making this. <laughs> <laughs> really enjoyed making this. Really, really enjoyed, enjoyed this. making this. Any questions or any suggestions for anything you might want to see from here to Christmas, let us know. We might be able to, get to film it. If not, sorry, maybe next year. And uh, 
I think from all of us here at Geekspeak TV to all of you out there in internet land, we just want to say happy, happy holidays. Happy holidays. We hope that my info wrong and we get to see you guys next year. But if not, peace out and find a good hiding place. Exactly. Duck and cover. <laughs> Happy holidays from Geekspeak.tv. I fucked that up. <laughs> I, fucked that up. <laughs> I actually fucked that up. It's the but it's best awesome. Christmas show ever. <laughs> Geekspeak Craptacular Christmas. Yay! Geekspeak Craptacular In 3D. Christmas. Oh, yeah, so. 3D. <laughs> <laughs> In 3D! In 3D! <laughs> Look, he's right in the camera! <laughs> wow, it's like coming at you! Quick, catch! <laughs> uh, That's uh, real 3D! <laughs> yeah! Look out, Thor, you don't want to catch your paws.